Welcome to the Advanced Assist video series from Interworks. I'm Rowan Brandon, an analytics consultant at Interworks. Assist by Interworks is a practice that offers on-demand help from our experts to users in the data and technology space. Today's question revolves around Tableau Desktop and the client asks, how do I use the new map layers feature without having to join, blend, or use relationships to connect my data? Let's jump in and have a look. Here we have a workbook from the Superstore, uh, using the Superstore data set, which comes with Tableau in 2021.4. Let's jump into one of those familiar maps. Here we have America with each state um, showing its profitability ratio. Now let's imagine you're an analyst at Superstore and your marketing department has come and told you that they want to have a look at advertising opportunities in airports across America. They would like that to take place with them in a really profitable state and they want to look at a combination of the profitability in that state as well as the size of the airport in terms of traffic and the cancellation rate. And they think they might be able to target some adverts into that space. Now, you don't want to spend hours and hours on this and join, joining data and doing all sorts of other work. So you're going to use map layers to do this analysis quickly and easily. So let's jump across to our, the data set we're going to bring in, which is this flight data um, from airports across America. Now, you can see there's no join or connection between this data at the moment. And we're just going to bring it in straight from the data pane. So we'll bring in our geographical field, which is destination city name, and we'll drag that on to the top left-hand corner, which says add a marks layer. You can see straight away our, our airports have been added across. First thing I want to do, look at just the airports that are within um, the United States itself, not the wider airports, just to make our visualization a little bit easier to understand. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the number of flights uh, across uh, these, these airports. I'm going to take flights, drag that onto size, and you can see here we've got the um, summer size which is going to be showing how much traffic there is within each of these airports. You'll notice I've already edited this to just have a fixed end of 80,000, just so that we are having a look at the most relevant, um, the biggest airports. Um, and we're not worrying about any outliers drowning everything else out. Then we're going to take our cancellation rates. And this is a very simple field. This is just the sum of our canceled flights divided by some of our flights. And we're going to bring this in onto color. And you can see here, um, from this, it's going to highlight which of our airports um, are, have a high cancellation rate up to 14% compared to those with lower. So those in red. So straight away, you can see in a few very short clicks, we have our analysis already. And we can pick out those airports, which are within profitable states, which um, uh, have a high cancellation rate and are quite big. So we can see here, there's a few here within Michigan. We've got Traverse City and uh, Kalamazoo. And then as well here at Fort Wayne within Indiana. And again, across here in New Jersey, we can see here that New York Airport is another example. So that's how we use our map layers feature. A few very short clicks, just dragging in and uh, making changes on each card. You can see here, we've got two map layer cards, one for order state and one for the destination city. We've not joined the data at all. It's just geographically placed one on top of the other and we can do our analysis. Uh, very quickly. So we hope you found this content helpful and it helps push your data journey further. For more tips and tricks or to contact the Assist team directly, head to the Interworks blog at interworks.com forward slash blog. Thanks for watching.